Good afternoon, everyone. Armstrong Economics, new article, The Approaching Famine. No question that food prices are going to rise. They take us back to 1709 in the Chicago Board of Trade. This dovetails into the new article I just released, giving you reasons for the introduction of Bitcoin futures in the Chicago Mercantile Exchange and the Chicago Board of Options Exchange. Grand solar minimum food price increases, they're going to give you more money to deal with it at least for the first few years. And Chorus, which I'm an advisor for, connecting traditional finance to the cryptocurrency world, also has a direct connection to the CME Bitcoin futures market. And as I've been saying for over a year, the grand solar minimum intensification and the adoption of cryptocurrency are going lockstep. Because right now, everything has an explanation for the anomalies you're seeing. Oh, it's a Greenland block, it's a Rex block. The cold air down to Florida, oh, it doesn't match tropospheric temperatures, it's something different. Now they're trying to say that the increase in earthquakes is due to a mysterious slowing down of our Earth. Wait a second, all this matches on the grand solar minimums when we have upticks in tectonic activity. It's all going to be explained away. But please understand the reason they're introducing Bitcoin futures has everything to do with the grand solar minimum and trying to get you prepared for this event that's going to shake our society. And while you're watching the channel, please remember to subscribe to Adapt2030 and click that bell so you can get the latest updates. Well-written article by Armstrong Economics, The Approaching Famine. I highly recommend you go to this, check out just the charts that, going back to 1709 with the wheat prices, Chicago Board of Trade. And in the article, it talks about no question that food prices are going to rise, especially getting into 2020. The entire crux of the article is that when the weather turns cold, Crops fail, failed crops, whether it's volcanically induced year without a summer or straight in the depths of the grand solar minimum, food prices are increasing. Now you, as well as I know that hungry people that can't afford food riot on the streets. That is a fact. This dovetails right in with the article I just completed, put up on Medium, giving you seven different reasons why Bitcoin futures have been introduced into the market. I put an asterisk right next to number two. As food prices climb, due to the grand solar minimum losses in our global agriculture output, this is going to take away from the greater economy. It's going to cause civil unrest. There's going to be a whole gamut of problems that are going to be uncontrollable by the current mechanisms that are keeping our society together. And then lo and behold, Bitcoin futures are introduced. Article here on NASDAQ about the Anchorus platform that I'm currently an advisor for begins this Saturday and is a platform that connects traditional finance to cryptocurrency. And this is the last piece of the puzzle before mass adoption occurs. And whether you agree or disagree with cryptocurrency, they're going to use this as a mechanism to generate more wealth, to provide you more money so you can buy these higher priced foods. The introduction of Bitcoin futures on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange and Bitcoin options on the Chicago Board of Options Exchange. This will allow large corporations now to hedge. They're going to start using Bitcoin in Amazon. They're going to start using it across payment platforms. Now they can mitigate the risk and now it's coming into the full on prime time. Once they can level the prices and get this volatility out of there, it will be the new currency. And some of you may say, well, why are you an advisor for this program? Cryptocurrency this, cryptocurrency that. Well, you know what? To actually make change, you need to be on the inside. And as we move forward with these smart contracts for our delivery for our grains, I want to have a say in how it moves forward. I want to have a say in how you get delivered your food and how it gets transported around the planet. I can't do that sitting outside complaining about how things are not working right. You need to be inside so you can actually make the changes that make a difference to help people get fed. And Chorus is about trading securities and Bitcoin futures with cryptocurrency along with smart contracts and talking about futures. Chicago Mercantile Exchange is all about the grains.
This is the epicenter of the movement of crypto into your food supply. I've been doing this channel for two years now, and I am so happy and grateful that they feel I have enough knowledge about what's happening with this grand solar minimum that have been invited to talk about the movement forward with our grain crops in cryptocurrency. And case in point, the weather systems are starting to fall apart. The wheat prices are up, there's losses across Australia, it just continues everywhere you look. And I do hope you looked this Thanksgiving for those of you in the United States on how much you're paying this Thanksgiving for your food compared to last. Everything's explainable now. Greenland high, blocking, wrecks blocking, forcing Arctic air all the way down to Florida. You know, these tropospheric maps, if you're learning how to read maps, these upper air flows also dictate what the ground temperatures are going to be. I know a lot of you are just learning how to read these charts here. So what you want to do is look for these upper air disturbances that will affect ground temperatures. It's pretty much the temperature map that you're going to see on the ground mapped out above. Also, somehow now they're trying to say a mysterious slowing down of the Earth's rotation is going to have an uptick in earthquakes. And I would just have to say, really? The uptick in earthquakes and volcanic aerosols mapped out over the last 2,500 years have pretty much 100% correlation to grand solar minimums when there's increased volcanism and tectonic activity. Now they're trying to say the Earth's slowing down by a a fraction of a millimeter each year and this is going to cause more earthquakes and they're trying to explain blocking highs forcing arctic air way south down in damaging crops and they're trying to tell you that wheat prices are going to rise and they're putting it in the media across the planet from popular television programs like the big bang theory a whole bitcoin episode and bitcoin futures and all this is just coincidental I would hope you take a deeper look at truly what's happening right now. The widening and the amplification from 2018 to 19 steps up tremendously from all the change you've seen from 2017 to 18. And then it needs to ramp up again from 2019 to 20. And that's right when Martin's research goes into the wheat prices spiking and skyrocketing the, and the actual shortages occurring across the planet. Well, at that point, everything's going to be crypto based and all these smart contracts are going to be fully functional by that time. I hope you're ready for the changes. And for those of you that really do not like cryptocurrency and dislike it and think it's the spawn of some evil. You know, you can choose to use it or not. If you like, you can go back to bartering and trading. But the traditional economic system is actually shifting over this way. So if you're going to want to eat in the future, you're going to have to use cryptocurrency to buy your food. I'm just trying to show you what the future holds. I'm not telling you one way or another to do anything. I'm just showing you what I have been seeing with my own eyes, the way it's moving. And this is the last piece that needs to be put in place. The connection between traditional finance right into the crypto world. This is it. And Chorus is going to allow the flow of institutional finance into the cryptocurrency world. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Because the cryptocurrency world is about to change this Saturday when Anchorus goes live.